Hello friends. I welcome you to episode 4 of Grief Support. Through this series, my intention is to support you, provide a sense of belonging, offer comfort and understanding about grief. This series also will work to validate feelings and provide you new insight as to how to move beyond grief and loss. Our today's title is categories of grief. When we experience grief, even though we do not make a conscious effort, but we may try to cope with grief or loss through our belief systems. These belief systems stems from our faith, the religion we follow, the culture we are part of, and the community we have grown up in. Our belief systems predominantly dominate our mindset and is one of the main areas when we go through setbacks, challenges, failures or loss of any kind where subconsciously we turn towards in order to understand the best ways to deal with it. If you have ever experienced or noticed that somebody who may have just experienced a personal loss most of the very common statement that they may receive from their community or neighborhood or family or society if as an example if i cite an indian society here a very quintessential typical statement would be that one needs to believe in destiny belief in the will of god and submit to it so what i want i'm trying to bring your attention to is any time when we go through grief and loss intense deep grief subconsciously most of us would go back to the system that we are brought up in to the mindsets and adapt only those coping mechanisms which are being taught to us in some cases the coping mechanisms work really well but not necessarily all coping mechanisms or the perspectives that's being taught to us are always correct and therefore sometimes people going through grief and loss also find themselves going through a very confused state of mind because what they personally feel with the complex emotions enveloping them and to what's being taught to them they find a cognitive dissonance meaning they find a lot of difference and that might trigger for most people to find the real meaning purpose or understanding of which direction are they moving and what is the right course of action this grief support series that i have begun my idea here as i mentioned is to make you all grief aware it is not to negate any beliefs of any particular community or faith rather it is to help people grieve the right way you can completely follow what your faith system or your community believes in along with this grief awareness so that it helps you maneuver through this difficult phase in a right way the idea here is only to make you aware so the more aware you become the more easier it will be for you to go through the most difficult period of anyone's life also friends grief is just not confined to personal loss because any time you may hear the term grief we tend to think it's all about a demise of a loved one or a family member but in reality grief has major four broad categories loss of health 
also is a part of grief and loss loss of a job is also cause grief natural disasters whether we are directly impacted by it or somebody close to us is also one of the reasons when people experience intense grief relationship loss is also one very key category within grief and loss and of course we have the personal loss where we cope with the demise of a loved one grief happens in many ways it's not just about personal loss even minor setbacks failures challenges adversities or day to day stress that we face are reasons where we experience grief and loss there are two distinct features of grief and they are grief is universal and unique grief is universal meaning we all go through it it is it does not look at a particular community a country a gender we all as human beings sharing a common humanity we all go through grief at some point or another in our life grief is unique just like our life we all experience grief in our own unique ways because none of us live life on somebody else behalf we all deal with our own life with our own experiences with our own likes and dislikes in our own unique ways similarly the way we would deal with grief will be unique to each individual so when i mentioned to you that a community or a faith or belief systems play a predominant role the way we grieve the same time our own unique personality has a key role to play in it so any time you find yourself having going through or having been through or presently experiencing any kind of grief it could be a job loss grief a loss of health a chronic illness just diagnosed for any of your close associate or friends any natural disaster or a relationship loss understand friends that the way you are dealing with it is unique and it's your own you don't have to follow a method a process instead stay open to it accept it and let the emotions have enough of you don't think that grief is a method or it's a step by step process that once you go through it it will get over forever some void some losses in life are so intense that it might take an entire life time and yet we still may not get over it so for those and such intense and deep grief the best method is to simply be with it so if we have lost someone who we consider very close to us and or or have lost something that has left a deep void remember that you will move ahead in life along with that grief and not without it and it's absolutely okay to do so there's no such principle or no such rule wherein you need to really come out of it and only then you can move ahead you can still grow still move ahead still have your share of success along with the grief that you carry in your heart for that special loss 
that you chose to not forget. I close this episode by letting you know that as a grief coach, I provide coaching. I help people move beyond grief and loss. But and I also, in addition to that, have a grief support coaching group. So in case you feel or you find yourself stuck, you find it difficult to move beyond, you need help, I suggest you reach out and get help. Thank you so much for being my listener. Thank you for your time. I leave the links to along with the coordinates in the comment box where you could reach out to me with your answers, comments, feedback or ideas. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.